Welcome back. We are joined now by Peyton Pritchard. And Peyton, we just ran your feature where you threw out the first pitch at Fenway. Was that the first time that you had been there? Yeah, that was my first game at Fenway, actually. So it was special, for sure. And you had said during it, you, you feel that um, just with the sports teams here, mm -hmm. they, they all kind of bond together. How did that make you feel just even more a part of the city, being able to experience that? No, it was special. I mean, uh, the thing that I, I think is special about Boston is it's a huge sports city. I mean, we you got baseball, football, basketball, hockey, you know, all top at what they do. So um, for our, any athlete to be a part of the, the other sports is special and, you know, root on those other teams. Are you feeling more embraced here, even even after your first season now? For sure. Uh, I grew up a Patriots fan and stuff like that, so um, I already had kind of like a, a heart to heart towards the city and stuff like that. So, uh, but definitely feeling more embraced, and it's becoming like a home. Love it. Well, you're slowly moving into into settling into a second season here. We were just talking before we went live. This is your first real media day mm -hmm. that you get to go through, um, but. You did have a relatively normal off season. You yep. got to play in, in summer league. Um, you're going to have an actual real training camp here mm -hmm. that's not condensed into a short time period. How do you think that's going to impact you um, as opposed to kind of what you went through last year? You got drafted yeah. and you were on the court for practice 12 yeah. days later. For sure. I mean, it's, you just see like it's a slow, slow build up this year. I think your body gets more prepared, mm -hmm. your mind gets more prepared, and you can you just you know it's small steps rather than big steps. Um, and for me, that's a, and for our team, I think that would be huge for our preparation. Well, speaking of Summer League, you were out there and you, you did something in my 13 years covering Summer League. No one had, had done this until you did it this year. You played, you torched everyone for a few games. Mm -hmm. You left and went into playing some Pro-Am games. Then you came back for the championship. What made you want to come back and play in that final game? Uh, I think just to compete for a championship. Yeah. You know, we had the opportunity to win. and. Uh, and most of us were all playing, so I think I wanted to come back and, you know, try to help us win. Uh, it didn't work out that way, but, you know, you put your best foot forward and you, you tried, so. It was fun to watch. Yeah. It was fun to watch. I was going to say what did work out, though, the Portland Pro-Am. You dropped 92 <laughs> points. What was yeah. that like That's to see it? that? Just 92? I'm, I'm sure your, fi your, your friends and family were just, I mean, rooting yeah, no, for it, you. It was excited. special. I think, you know, for me growing up in Portland to go back and, and play in the city and, uh, and give back a little bit, but, uh you know, it was it was a special game just to play with everybody again, and I don't know, it, mm -hmm. it happened. So, <laughs> well, keeping it on that that Portland connection, you know, Ime Udoka is the native there as well. Uh, what are your impressions of him as a head coach coming in, but also being a former player and um, just having that experience? Uh, so I've known Ime for a lot long time now, obviously from uh, the Portland connection. But I think he's going to be unbelievable. I mean, he's been around the league, been on you know, under the Spurs and, and different coaching staff. So his experience is through the roof as a coach and a player. So, you know, I think he'll definitely help and, and push us towards the right direction. And, you know, we'll try to make a run at it this year. You said you've known him for a long time. Take us into your relationship. Like, when did you first meet him? I think How did your relationship the, develop? You know, just Portland. Oh! There it is. That's There's our what first we're That's Grant Williams. <laughs> uh, hey, well done. Well, well done, Grant. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, Portland's a smaller community, so, you know, the basketball community, everybody knows each other. So if you're somebody or you, you got talent, then, you know, it's kind of a – you're going to meet the people that have been before you. Mm -hmm. and so that's the same with, like, Damon and, and Ime and all them. So just, you know, you just cross the same path. Mm -hmm. hey, you kind of touched on it right there. The whole coaching staff pretty much is mm -hmm. from Portland no, and sure. from Oregon. Yeah. What are your impressions of this group and how well did you know the rest of the coaches that he brought in? Uh. You know, I've known most of them, uh, the ones that are from Portland for, for a lot, like I said, a long mm -hmm. time. Um, and I think it's going to be an unbelievable group. And, uh, you know, I think they're hungry, and, and I think it's going to be special. Yeah, what does that mean to you to, to know that you're going to be coached by a staff that you had previous relations with and, and just guys that you can trust? Yeah, no, too. for sure. I think that's really important. And, you know, you trust them, but they're also going to push you. And, and I know that they're going to push us in the right direction because ultimately they want to win and we want to win. So. Mm -hmm. You're coming off a really successful rookie season. You made it look easy out <laughs> there. How are you planning to build uh, and just break through even more in your second year? No, honestly, just being hungry and you know trying to take a step and, and help this team win. Um, you know that's going to be my goal every off season is uh, trying to improve and, and get better. And then you know once the season starts, you know you're finding areas that you can really help this team uh, make a jump. You said improve. One thing that I've seen you improving since you got in the league is your distance, the mm -hmm. length of the shot that you take. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you were taking some deep ones during your first season. Yeah. You went even deeper 
during summer league. Where is your range? Like, like where is your comfort zone that you're, you're like, yeah, I'll pull up from here? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I just think, uh, you know, when I fail in the game and, and I feel like I can get it off or I'm comfortable taking that shot, I'll just take it. You know, I, I, really, I don't really look at the distance of it. It's just whether it's a good shot or not. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for me going through this year, it's just, you know, finding good shots and the right shots. It's like if you cross half court, it's a good shot. That's what it looks like to me. I guess you got to be prepared to shoot any shot eventually, you know, with the shot clock and all that. So for me, it's just, you know, practicing it all. How deep do you go in practicing? I mean, like, I honestly, I, I don't practice like that crazy yeah. range. Uh, I mean, I'll take step backs and I'll work on it, but like not to half court or anything. Yeah. Um, sometimes in a game, you know, you hit those and you look back at film and, you know, you're a lot deeper than you thought. So, <laughs> but it is what it is. It means it's coming easy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, Peyton, we have fans writing in questions for you. Hey, PP, big fan from Malaysia. How do you see yourself fit in with the new backcourt with guys like Dennis and Josh Richardson? You know, I think it'll be good. I think, you know, we'll, we'll uh, uh, pay a, play at a fa fast tempo. Um, we all can make plays for each other um, and spread the floor. So for us, it's just, you know, figuring out, our tendencies and how we like to play together and, you know, keep improving. Great. Well, Peyton, thank you so much for your time. We thank appreciate it and looking forward to, to seeing you tomorrow. Appreciate it.